Hey guys, this is Sora Web from Take Care, and today I'm back with the experience ROM for the Redmi Note 4. Now, talking about experience ROM, it is also a new ROM that runs on uh, Nougat. Yes, 7.1.2. You can see it right, right in here. And the Experian updates, yes, we can get updates, OT updates right in here. And it's an official ROM, so no worries in that case. And I'm currently using a nightly build and uh, I know that nightly builds are not that much stable but this ROM is quite stable to be honest and you can easily use it as a daily driver there is a less app that requires root I, ha I don't have root uh, still now in this ROM so I won't be able to check that out now guys uh, if you really love this love of our work do subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon for instant notifications when you upload uh, ROM related reviews on the Redmi Note 4 or any other devices now I get around 1.8 GB free as you have seen that and that's the maximum that I've got in uh, upcoming uh, in, in recent custom ROMs for Redmi Note 4. Now there is the uh, high sensitivity mode I hope you can see that right here the high touch sensitivity it's like of a you know gold uh, glove mode which were there in previously in some devices uh, in even in my Nokia Lumia 730 the feature is there glove mode like we had used to say in Asus devices I have seen that feature. The active display is like you know kind of a new feature that I haven't used it. Uh, one thing I'm going to mention is that the notification light works with redefine. You know it's like a peak notification light like that the active display. I am not gonna use that. What I'm interested about is the experience settings and the customization hub. We get a lot of customizations and I'm quite happy with the amount of customization implemented. Uh, the ROM is pretty fast, it's pretty fluid and if you really ask me about uh, my recommendation is you, you can easily go for that. There are only two bugs that I have faced. One bug is common among all the custom ROMs. Uh, press uh, there is a gesture of pressing the button, I mean the power button uh, twice to open up the camera. Sometimes pressing the power button once opening up the camera app and that's really really and really is not a very good thing apart from that there is another bug while charging while charging the phone uh, the system hangs and then you have to restart the whole device in the order to use the phone so while charging you can't unlock your device and it happened to me and uh, i'm really giving you an you know warning about that while charging your phone might get unlocked by pressing the uh, volume pa power button or not so it's entirely up to you apart from that the rom is pretty good the active display you can easily see there and uh, it's quite good to be honest uh, not a lot of apps are actually in there very minimalistic app approach which i prefer and in the case of antutu uh, we get around 59000 score which is 3000 lower than the average and that is kind of a concern to be honest uh, in case of volte calling i haven't faced any issue i think i should be omitting this ho whole volte fact because it is getting pathetic and pathetic and monotonous i mean we all know that volte calling is uh, you know gonna happen to this recent rom so from this moment on from the next video i won't be showing you the volte calling it's just to you know cons consume less amount of time i believe that will be beneficial to all of my subscribers and viewers so there is the Magix Manager, uh, you know what Magix Manager does, if you don't know let me know via the comment section below, I will definitely reply to you. And then there is the Stardust which is a music player. Uh, in case of the camera sample or the camera app, the camera app is uh, you know it's kind of uh, a good, I mean the camera app is very basic uh, like it was used to be in other ROMs. The camera samples are decent. and. Uh, in my primary usage i felt the camera app was good i mean i didn't face any kind of uh, focus breathing or any kind of focusing issues or uh, the, the outputs were good i mean to be honest the outputs were very good even in the low lights or the artificial light that i am in and i believe in the case of you know in the case of uh, daylight it will be much much better but the video zooming or video cropping is still present there i hope you have seen that while pressing the you know video button it somehow zoomed in by some kind of a ratio and uh, yeah that's something i don't like at all you know that in few roms like a few roms that i have tested before there were not this kind of a feature it's not actually a feature it's actually a limitation i believe with further updates it will be removed from uh, this rom and we will get a full re full pixel readout full crop uh, on the video mode i believe so but uh, the video quality is good to be honest and uh, very minim minimalistic approach like i said 
Play Store works fine. You have to flash it. I mean, you have to flash the you know OpenG apps. All the links will be in the description down below. Make sure you check that out. Go to the thread and uh, download all those links. I won't be giving you you know instant download links because that's somehow uh, not right in my opinion. And the fingerprint scanner works fine and the uh, LED notification light works fine without any issue. So this is all for today guys. I hope you liked this video. Put it up if you loved it. Put it down if you disliked it. Do subscribe to our channel for other videos regarding Redmi Note 4. And yes, there are a lot of links in the description. Make sure you check that as well. Till then bye people. Have a great day.